The cabbage white butterfly, Pyrus rape, is a butterfly that is not native to North America. Rather, the cabbage white was accidentally introduced to North America and spread quickly, first being spotted in 1860 in Quebec City, Canada. The cabbage white butterfly gets its name because of its common area where it's found, being prevalent in home gardens and farms. The larvae actually eat the plant and contaminate the food, which can be a nuisance to farmers and home gardeners. The butterfly goes under normal metamorphosis in the growth from a larvae to a fully grown butterfly. The cabbage white is known for its distinct markings of white wings with black dots towards the middle of the wing. Having color vision, the butterfly tends to prefer purple, blue, and yellow hues versus floral colors. Using a UV guide, the reflection is not only the only aspects that help it find a plant. Color plays a big role in finding the flower. Smell is also used to determine where its resources are found. The purpose of this experiment was to see if the UV light patterns of flowers had any effect on the feeding patterns of the cabbage white butterfly. Cabbage white butterflies will choose a UV patterned feeding site over a non-UV patterned feeding site. Cabbage butterflies were raised in the lab. They were transferred from their original container to a mesh butterfly house where there was a wicked paper towel coated in sugar water made of three teaspoons of sugar and half a cup of water. Trials were done using a 20 gallon fish tank with the outside covered by paper. Sugar water was placed on each end of the tank with orange post-it notes to replicate flowers. One side had just a plain post-it note while the other had the UV pattern of a dandelion drawn on the petals. The butterfly was then removed from the habitat and released into the tank from the top. The same butterfly was tested twice, once with all spectrum lighting and once with UV light. Each butterfly had a total of five minutes in the tank and the approaches and landing on either sugar water was recorded. This was replicated for six different butterflies. It was conducted to see whether or not the cabbage white butterfly would have a preference for flowers with UV light patterns that mimic their typical feeding flower, or if they would prefer a non-UV active flower. The average number of approaches to either sugar water were found and then graphed to show the comparison. The sugar water without the UV light pattern had an average number of 0.19 approaches for all spectrum light, but no approaches for UV light. The UV light pattern to sugar water had an average number of 1.2 approaches for all spectrum light and an average number of 0.37 approaches for the UV light. Based off our data, we support our hypothesis that cabbage white butterflies will choose a UV pattern feeding site over a non-UV pattern feeding site. This raises questions to our experiment as well. Whenever the butterflies were subjected to the UV light, they were stunned and did not display any movement or activity where they displayed the activity in all spectrum light. It also raises questions if UV cues have a bigger role in colors based off the experiment as well. The butterflies on average approached the UV light pattern more often than the non-UV light pattern. The butterflies did not also feed due to the fragileness of the butterflies that need to be fed on a day-to-day -day basis.